Thanks for joining us. Getting a good seat at most music festivals doesn't come easy. At Hodag Country Fest, it isn't exactly easy either, unless you're lucky. The music starts tomorrow, but the festivities began tonight with the traditional chair line. It would be hard to find someone who's been coming to Hodag longer than Pat Malik. I love the music. Love the music, meeting people. It's just wonderful. This year marks her 37th Hodag Fest. For Malik, it's a family tradition. I had two aunts and uncles that came for the first one. 67 people here, I think it was. And um, then I started coming with them, and now my kids are coming with me. Traditions are part of what makes Hodag so special, including the chair line tradition. Getting a good seat is really up to chance. We got little, our little secrets to make sure that we all get good seats. People start camping out early to get a good spot in line. I sit and wait for uh, this afternoon, and then get all excited about getting in the chair line. Been here since 3:30. <laughs> That's 3.30 a.m. The lines are formed and at 6 p.m. the first of four colors is called. The next color is blue! Then there's a little bit of controlled chaos. We're going to make sure that everybody stays organized, gets to where they need to be safely. Once your line is called and you find your spot, that's your home for the next four days. But no matter where you end up, the music. This year's lineup is phenomenal. And the experience can't be beat. It's a lot of fun and a lot of good people. It's well run. The people that run this really know what they're doing. So before I went to this, I was under the impression people ran to get their spots, but it was actually a nice controlled walk. Well, tomorrow, four bands play with Clint Black headlining at night. Today, I also got the chance to talk with the Northern Lights, who play at 5.45 in the evening. The band is made up of Mike Godwin, Niall Hay, and Garrett Thorne. Thorne is originally from Sugar Camp and will be back for his 10th Hodag this year, but the first as a performer. I never really envisioned playing it, honestly. I, I was kind of, when I did start music, it was kind of a goal, um, but I, I just thought it was so far down the road. I didn't think it was going to happen within three years of moving to Nashville. The Northern Lights will be playing original songs from their EP tomorrow night, as well as a few covers. We'll have a, also have a story about them tomorrow night at 10, about how the group formed, where they hope to go in the future. So hopefully yeah. we have some good weather for tomorrow. We're going to make a lot of mud out there tomorrow, yeah. but Friday and Saturday like good. 